Well, this is Jason Reed, and I'm here at the Casbah in San Diego, California. Going to be talking to John Spencer and Russell Simmons of the John Spencer Blues Explosion. The guys are on tour, and they have a new album out. Let's go chat with them real quick and see what they're up to. You guys have been doing a very well-received tour uh, for your new album, uh, which is entitled Freedom Freedom Tower. There we go. And yep. it's Freedom Tower. And the subtext is No Wave Dance Party 2015. That's right. Yes. yes. Yep. And I wanted to ask you guys, I've heard the album. It's excellent. I own it. And in terms of the no wave scene in New York, um, there's not necessarily a no wave kind of vibe to the album, at least in my interpretation. But you guys certainly were inspired by a lot of the no wave artists. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Go. Uh, we definitely have taken inspiration from people such as uh, Lydia Lunch and James Chance and Mars and DNA and countless other yeah. people. Uh, no, I don't think there's a really overt no wave vibe or sound of the record. There were at certain points during the mixing of the album, I did reference some of the old uh, sort of uh, punk funk uh, yeah. no wave dance kind of stuff. Yep. Uh, um, but I, I think that the choice of the no wave for the, the subtitle uh, was to reinforce the, uh, the New York City connection because okay. uh, a lot of the record uh, a lot of this new f album blues explosion album is a is about our home new york city totally and i wanted to talk to you about the music video uh which is entitled do the get down come on now So many cool clips of New York. I mean, there's references to so many folks, including one of my favorite bands of all time, the Fat Boys. Yeah. Uh, a couple of clips in there of the Fat Boys. Were the Fat Boys inspirational to you all, Russell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit of the right there. All right. Rest in peace, Buff Love, no doubt. Uh, yes, right. big ups, big ups. But, uh, but yes, you guys. The Fat Boys were, in, were an influence for sure, okay. and countless other uh, uh, East Coast and even West Coast uh, uh, rap and hip hop artists, yeah. Uh, that's music has always played a really big part in the blues explosion and and I think not just the way things sound for us or the way we try to make our records but also the way that we go about writing songs uh, I really can't stress it enough um, you know when we talk about New York City it's yeah. not just you know uh, no wave or jazz yeah. or, or rock and roll it's yeah. also rap and hip-hop totally, totally. yeah and through the years I mean you guys have definitely you know your uh, music video in which you kind of a tip of the hat to run DMC I mean you guys have always been reflective of hip-hop's influence that and was, uh, that was Beck's idea oh that was Beck's idea yeah. okay okay did you guys agree with idea or no, no? I, is that come on man. is that is he is he uh, blowing some smoke here Yeah, he's putting on Brian Williams over there oh, yeah. Okay. Well, tell us about that that collaboration. Not, that wasn't his idea. No. Okay. Come on. He. I mean, all. You know. Let's. That was. Let's give credit where credit's due. It's Evan Bernard's idea. When Evan Bernard. There we go. Evan. Bernard. The great okay. Evan Bernard. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Rest in peace. Another big ups. Yeah. Speaking of music videos, actually, you guys did a very cool music video that was directed by Weird Al Yankovic, a gentleman that we had the pleasure of interviewing. Russell, what was that like working with Weird Al? It was what was very, it like? very weird. weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, I actually saw Weird Al Yankovic when he was shooting the video. You saw him? Okay. Yeah. Okay. In the background very, somewhere. He actually was there. Okay, okay. He was very... He came out of the town car at one point. <laughs> was he sitting in one of those uh, pretentious director's chairs with his name very, on the back? Very pretentious. No, okay. he's the most unpretentious. The okay. first rule of working with Weird Al is you don't talk about Weird Al. Okay, no. and you don't, you don't believe anything he says either. Really? No. He, wow. Much respect, Weird Al. Yeah. Big up. Yep. He, he hasn't passed away, though, for the record. No. Really? No, no, thankfully. Well, guys, I want to talk more about the new album in yes. terms of, you know, a lot of Freedom wonderful... Freedom Tower. Freedom Tower, yeah. definitely. And a lot of wonderful um, critical sounds. reviews. Oh, L yeah. A lot of sounds, a yeah, lot of good reviews. Everybody loves this record, even my, even my mom and dad. Okay, and what do they think about it? <laughs> it's, they love it. They love it, okay. <laughs> they love it. Right. You, know, you can't shine a turret, but you can freeze it. Oh, there we go, oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Well, guys, in terms of your current tour, you guys are going to be going all around the world. I talked to your tour manager earlier, okay. and uh, after being here in the States. Who's that? Bernie, get out. Bernie, Bernie. get in here. Say yeah. Bernie. 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 Come here. Actually, I talked to Rachel, but Bernie. Bernie. Rachel. Uh, yeah. 
don't don't, don't believe Bernie, her. Bernie, okay, Bernie, okay. Bernie, what are you telling this gentleman something so, about the tour? So, Bernie, word on the street is that these guys are going to be doing a very cool world tour after they're here in the states. Right. Do you have any insight There's on that? A whole run of shows in Antarctica, Antarctica that they oh, don't know about yet. Okay, okay. Now, typically, Antarctica is not some place people go, but Metallica broke it with That's that Coca-Cola anyway, thing. So, uh, <laughs> as I was saying. All right. So, uh, what kind of percent of the cut does he get? Because uh, uh, I think it's like. 75, 76 percent. Okay. Yeah. Right. No, uh, 80. It's like, remember the 80s. Remember the 80s. Totally remember That's the 80s. funny because he keeps saying that. Remember the 80s, boys. Okay. okay. Like, Think we're saying, like, we're saying, like, what? It's such a long drive to Antarctica. <laughs> Bernie says, remember the 80s. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's a, you should pay Bernie more. I think the whole Antarctica idea is just totally revolutionary. That's not, that's not an idea, man. It's not, it's not, it's yeah. Not just an idea. All right. You keep all right. saying that, you're going to have to pay Lars Ulrich some money. And you guys, right behind us, we've got some other cool merch. Uh, Christina can pan back there a little bit. And uh, so, John, what do we have here? Any uh, custom artwork that you've uh, overseen here? You got to pay to pay. Look out. You gotta pay. Well, <laughs> I'll do the Carol Merrill. It's just like, <laughs> like. A new car! Uh, I, if I could, this is, I'm just going to draw your attention, Christina, to this one here. It's, the, it's designed by a wonderful artist from, uh, I think he's from Finland, uh, a guy named Sammy, Sammy Wonder Graphics. And uh, this is based on a poster design he did for us for a European tour a couple years ago. And so we've translated into a, a shirt. Um, and we have some other fine, this is a, 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 a compilation uh, on the, in the red label from uh, Los Angeles. That's uh, not so far from here, huh? A lot of, lot of history, a lot, uh, lot of stuff here, a lot of good times. Um, speaking of history, Russell's going to tell you about that. Here, yeah, here we go. This is a tour that's happening in the next year. Uh, uh, Jesus Lizard, Blues Explosion, and Chibo Mater, Southern Culture on the Skids, we're all getting back together. We're it's doing, uh, Jim Rose. <laughs> Jim Rose. <laughs> that's like, remember the 80s. Uh, so we, we're selling this to make people aware of the fact that Sooner, soon again. This was a great moment in time. Well, guys, thanks so much for the little personalized tour of your merch booth. A lot of cool stuff here. And, um, and don't shake your head, John. There, there's some wonderful stuff here. Shake because, you know, there's a lot of memories, a lot of stuff. It's like, you know how many times we've played the Casbah? Uh, how many times through the years? I don't know. That's why I was asking you. I don't remember anything. What's it? What? Oh, oh, My producer's telling me nine. Nine times. Nine wow, times. okay. So do you have any fond memories of being here at this wonderful, intimate venue? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I remember for all the fans out there, and there are millions of fans, any, any sort of updates about things going on other than the tour and the new album that dropped in March? Any new recordings? Any? I know you guys had a Record Store Day uh, release this last year. Yeah, I think it was. We didn't right? do one this year. We played, uh, we played a Record Store on Record Store Day. We played at Grimey's in Nashville. Uh, we might be doing something for the new Black Friday, the, the oh. second Record Store Day. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. Well, remains to be seen. Yeah, I mean, you. I think you mentioned it already. We're just going to continue to tour, playing everywhere. Uh, this is where tonight we're finishing up our second leg of our uh, USA Freedom Tour, and uh, we're home for a little bit, and then we go out on leg number three, phase three, and uh, we're just going to keep playing and working well into 2016. The, the, the blues! blues!